all right good morning good afternoon good evening or good night depend on when you they watch this video and today tutorial and lower third one learn how to do one learn how to do this thing where you they see for your screen so without wasting your time man eh, adopt my photoshop my photoshop already make a first to open my after effect if you look at my photoshop you're gonna notice say eh, i don't design this in this lower third now this lower third we want to animate the first thing to do is to create new project create new composition we could select 1980 by 10 1080 we will leave the duration for 30 seconds we click on ok so the design already did for photoshop so that you go guide us so if you look at the photoshop design you will notice here we get four layers we get two shapes and two text so what we're going to need to do now we say we're going to collect much more expo from here so what we'll go first we'll go first create these two shape we'll go after effect go our shape tool or Q for your keyboard draw our first shape go our, move our anchor point to we'll put our anchor point for the, this corner edge yeah to see anchor point and to press Y for your keyboard so we need to put that here because we're going to animate from left to right the next thing to do now to duplicate this layer ctrl D for your keyboard draw the second one down Make sure you select your selection tool first, V, for your keyboard before you drag them down. So, this second one, we could put this anchor point for, for right. So, we will first go here, select our anchor point, so we go feel move and move and go right. Press Ctrl or Command for your keyboard so that it will snap to that position. We don't get these two shapes. We'll go back to Photoshop, we'll see what we get. Okay, the next thing to do now to color the shape. What we're going to do is we'll collect selection tool here, uh, color tool here, use picker, pick our color, copy our color code so that it go easy for us. Go back to After Effect, first one, select our shape, fill, paste that color here, so you don't copy. Go back to Photoshop, do the same thing. So we don't get the exact color. We we'll manually create the text here. I create a right Ugu Samuel. Select and control A for your keyboard. Change the text to black. Then change the font. Font we will use now. I use my official font. Then we put up all caps. Then we we'll scale up a bit. Or shift make it for scale. Well, we cannot go the wide, the more increases our shape can I go up. So we don't do the we'll go somewhere over here. I select my text tool again. Okay, I could put that here. If you if, if you change your font if you like. So one thing we say if you bring in ruler, it then important to if you bring in ruler to bring that ruler, you're gonna need to press Ctrl R for your keyboard. You go this point, drag your ruler. The purpose of the ruler and I make you feel align them. Zoom me, move, zoom me, see what they do. We put a ruler here, go back here, drag the second ruler, put them here. Then, you see, I'm saying, go feel guide us now to scale our, our text, scale here. The reason why this thing jump as we drag it because it will put our anchor point for here. So we will go back, select our this thing, anchor point, move up, put down for middle. Oh shit, so that it will snap to the middle. Select V back. If you drag now, O shift to. If you drag now, you go you go from the scale up from the middle. See here now, don't come off of the line. You don't move on. You feel me? So our design now don't set. So now, as you see, I'm now, now to animate and remain. So, we could not waste time. This one, we're going to animate them from left to right. Then the second one, we're going to animate them from right to left. You feel me? We can animate this one first. So, see how we have one couple in there. So, what you go do is you go press scale for your keyboard, which is S. You go bring out your scale property. You go see one chain. This chain means if you scale up, scale down, both width and length go to scale the same way. But if you come out the chain, if you scale here, yeah, only up go to go. 
And if you scale here, only right and left go they go. So now what we want to do with this? Now this one we want to animate. You feel me now? See the first thing to do now to make sure that our player there for the beginning. Create keyframe. You click here keyframe. If you don't understand what the keyframe be, watch my previous video. You go see how I explain what the keyframe be. Then we scale. Probably this scale. Now this one we do. Scale and put down for more. Put down for zero. Put down for zero. And don't finish. And don't disappear. So if we go like more, go like two second forward, then put back our guy for hundred. So if you plan now. Just that it did too slow. So what we're gonna need to do now is say we go closing our keyframe, move, move our keyframe, go like yes, the more it did faster. If I move the keyframe, go front now, it will begin to crawl like snail. You see him. So move we'll on for that place when they're very close. So I could just fast fast, we'll not get time. So if you move your player forward, then press N for your keyboard so that the thing go if you play read up this point, it go restart. You see him? You feel him? So more quickly animate the second one. The same way we will take animate the first one. We'll go to the beginning, open scale, come out our chain, put this one for zero, create keyframe, go front, put them back for 100, 100. So if you look at now, You got to need to do because Premiere Pro is still do this one, but the quality way after effect again now be say after effect they give you smooth ride, they give you smooth move. So you select all your keyframe, right click, go keyframe assistant, go for easy ease. If you plan now, she say don't get one kind, one kind of finesse, you don't get one kind of sweet, sweet move. But you never still finish. We will select those two keyframes. We will open our graph editor. Graph editor now will make us know how we want the thing coming. So we want to make for the ending. See the first keyframe, see the second keyframe. Make the ending slow down. Make the ending slow down. Make the coming, the coming in go fast. Then it will come slow down. More play now. Good. Make our the first second one more and see what time they talk. See I'm now as you play. You see, you come with, you come with, make a move keyframe from me. See, you come with speed, you come slow down. Confirm, confirm, confirm. Make a move this single from so. Confirm, sharp. So we we'll do the same thing for the second one. You see, I'm, this one the first reach. This one the first reach. So we'll move this keyframe to go here. So all of them go, go brrr. They feel them. Like, one more thing to add now, motion blur. If you add motion blur, it's come here, you can see motion blur. I can show you what the motion blur they do. Motion blur, they have you, the drag system. So you check, check on motion blur here, yeah? check on motion blur here. Yeah? They make sure you select now here. Yeah? If we plan now, if you look this edge, you will see something like fade from here, this edge here, yeah? or this edge, just look this edge. See, yeah? something like fade. That would be motion blur. So we don't animate the shape. We could turn on our name. So now, a quick way to animate this. If we use typing effect, if we use typing effect, if we go Windows, go bring effect and preset. If we use typewriter effect, we will make sure see our player at the beginning. Typewriter effect, drag and put on top our first text. If we play now. I'm going to do typing. If it's too slow, you press U for your keyboard to bring the keyframe properties, then close in the keyframe. So that you go there faster. You see I'm do the same thing for the graphic designer guy. Sharp man. So we drag the same typewriting effect. Open U for our keyboard. Close down the keyframe. Play. So make a change this font. Make a change this font to something light book. Ah, I'm only one of 
for play now you go see yo I will go see my grandpa design if you make the two and they made from the same side it not mean anything so I hope so you understand uh, this tutorial even though it's long so much I hope so you understand um now so you go take animate if you apply this thing you go fit animate and different make a quickly export this video so what you go do we say you go file you go export and to render queue if you export transparent file make sure say you open this lossless this thing quick time quick time a uh, mov file but make sure say you put rogb which is color and alpha you go do transparent make sure say you select alpha if you not select alpha if you export them, it will be black. So you click OK, click on export. If your system fast, you go quick. If your system not too fast, mm, you go waste more time. Oh. Yeah, it does export finish. Look at one Premiere Pro video. Okay, so we'll go find that thing where we export. So if you drag the video now, what we we'll just do on top? Oh, just export on top of any video. If you plan now, we will see my graphic designer. If you move on to position, if you plan, if you plan now like this, so that's how it will be. So that's how it will be. Uh, I beg this video. Don't forget to, don't forget to like, turn on notification, subscribe, invite your friends to come subscribe, share for your status, share for your Facebook. Or turn on notification so that anytime we upload video, you know, say ah 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 ah, it's my man. Don't upload video again, no. Make a go watch him. Una, bye bye.